648 right now time for the morning rush. APD says late last night they found two Kia souls they believe are connected to the murder of five year old Galilea Samaniego over the weekend. Early Sunday morning, police say Samaniego was sleeping in the front room of a trailer near Blake and Unser when someone started shooting at or into the home, hitting the girl at least one time. Police have not named any suspects at this point in the investigation. APD Chief Harold Medina calling on Walgreens this morning to do more to prevent shoplifting, especially of alcohol in its stores. APD says that since January of 2022, they have responded to a thousand calls at five Walgreens locations along the central corridor. Chief Medina is now suggesting Walgreens limit when and how liquor can be sold, only giving staff access to the liquor department. Meanwhile, Chief Medina is also pointing to newly released video of two teens seen stealing alcohol from a Westside Walgreens before a deadly shooting over a stolen car. He says the car's owner, 23 year old Sydney Wilson, had tracked down the vehicle using GPS. Police say that she confronted the group of intoxica intoxica intoxicated teens, including 13 year old Marcos Varela, who shot and killed Wilson. Zoe. Well, we are looking at isolated mountain storms continuing across the state today. Heaviest easily going to be across the northern mountains with burn scar flash flooding a big concern. Today is going to be seasonable before the heat begins to build into tomorrow. A local organization is asking for help this morning as they try to preserve thousands of hours of New Mexico history. Basement Films has been in the mess of the Soul Aperture Center for the last seven years, but the founder says they have to move out by October. The organization has around 10,000 reels of film dating back to the early 1900s. The group is now looking for about 1,000 square feet of space to store it. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted for the fourth time in five months. A Georgia grand jury handed up 41 charges against Trump and nearly two dozen of his allies for their alleged roles in trying to overturn the 2020 election loss. Trump has maintained he didn't do anything wrong. His campaign is calling the indictment election interference. Zoe. Our Metro Threat Index for today, not super high at a 2 out of 10 because there might be an isolated storm chance later today, but it's a lot lower today compared to yesterday. Hawaiian officials are now confirming nearly 100 people have died in the devastating Maui wildfires. More than 1,000 people are still missing this, this morning as search operations in Lahaina continue. Officials say they are working to place a moratorium on the sale of property damaged by the fires to prevent predatory purchases of historic land. A rock slide at Chaco Culture National Historic Park has closed campsites indefinitely. That closure also includes 75 yards of the cliff dwelling trail that's near the campground. The rest of the park will remain open, along with other sites within the Gallo campground. Zoe. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. Maps are looking nice and clear early on your Tuesday morning commute. And Tracker right now is headed west on I-40 near 6th Street. A couple other cars on the road early on your Tuesday morning commute. Well, sometimes there are punishments for finishing last in a fantasy football league. And then there's the justice that the San Francisco Giants dished out to play-by-play -play announcer Dave Fleming on Monday. During San Francisco series opener against Tampa Bay, Fleming was made to serve for three innings in one of baseball's most difficult roles. That's uh, the home team's bat boy. Time now for the five facts. At number five, an APS teacher is back in Albuquerque. That's after being selected to take part in a unique expedition offered by the National Geographic Society. Chris Beck is returning from a 17-day trip to Norway. Speck is a biology teacher at Garfield STEM School, and he created a program at that school, giving students the unique chance to analyze DNA. This year, Speck was chosen for the Grobsner Teacher Fellowship. Well, the goal of the more than two-week trip is to give educators a new way to teach their students by exposing them to new environments and communities. And number four, a local organization is out asking for help this morning as they try to preserve thousands of hours of New Mexico history. Basement Films has been in the Mesa del Sol Aperture Center for the last seven years, but the founder says they have to move out by October. The organization has around 10,000 reels of film dating back to the early 1900s. The nonprofit says until recently they had an agreement with UNM's film department to store it all for free. The group is now looking for about a thousand square feet of space. And at number three, we are looking at more mountain showers and thunderstorms today as drier air works its way in across the state, especially across eastern and southern New Mexico. Northern parts of the state, though, especially over the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon burn scar, there is going to be some heavy rainfall into this afternoon with very slow moving shower and thunderstorm activity that will create the potential for burn scar flash flooding. At least temperatures will be seasonable today before the heat begins to build into the mid to later parts of the work week. 
And number two, APD Chief Harold Medina calling on Walgreens this morning to do more to prevent shoplifting, especially of alcohol in its stores. APD says that since January 2022, they have responded to 1,000 calls at five Walgreens locations along the Central Corridor. APD says these calls have cost taxpayer $125,000. Chief Medina is now suggesting Walgreens limit when and how liquor can be sold, only giving staff access to the liquor department. He's also asking the company to hire security guards, connect their cameras to APD's real-time crime centers, and create a policy for employees to report alcohol theft and shoplifting to APD. And at number one, APD says late last night they found two Kia souls that they believe are connected to the murder of five-year-old Galilea Samaniego over the weekend, early Sunday morning. Police say Samaniego was sleeping in the front room of a trailer that's in the Vista del Sol mobile home park near Blake and Unser when someone started shooting at or into the home, hitting the girl at least one time. She later died at the hospital. Now, police have not named any suspects at this point in the investigation.